Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We will continue today with the Manifest Your Desires theme and this is episode 2. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into it. Oscarini posted the following desire. Greetings. I would love to manifest the next lover back. It's a very tricky situation because she has now basically become a celebrity with lots of attention and success since we broke up and we are in no contact and many jealous people around her so manifesting a specific person when all odds are against you I think many people will, will be very interested in that topic thanks you are awesome Thank you so much, Oscarini. Hello, by the way. Thank you for posting this comment and for your compliment as well. Uh, look, I will share with you my thoughts, which some of them probably you may agree or not with. But keep in mind that at the end of the day, I'm just a stranger to you. And you should do and act the way that will benefit you the most. Okay? So, I would like to take a look again at your comment. You said, I would love to manifest an ex-lover back. It's a very tricky situation because she is now basically become a celebrity with lots of attention and success since we broke up. And we are in no contact. Let's pause a little bit there. She has success attention. And you are in no contact. Okay. And many people, many jealous people around her. Let's just take a stop here. Let me ask you a question which you don't have to answer me because like i said i'm a stranger to you okay you don't have to give me explanations but just reflect on it for yourself if you are in no contact with her how do you know those many jealous people did you start to become one jealous person yourself just by observing her from afar? Again, I am not the one you should answer to, okay? But analyze it for yourself. Are these jealous people also the many voices that you have daily in your mind playing different scenarios before your mind's eye? Is that also the case? Because, yeah, Probably there are jealous people. But my question is, did you start to become part of that as well? Another question that you may take in consideration to answer for yourself is, what is your why? Also, if she has now fame and a lot of attention, success, why? Should she come back to you? Why should she come back to her old life? What does she gain if she makes that move? Also, what do you gain if that happens? I mean, really think about it. And most importantly, if let's suppose she comes back, okay, would you be able to accept that fame and that level of attention directed towards her or you will turn out bitter, even jealous, making amends because if you do, she will leave once more. What I am picking towards your particular situation is that you want your old life back with her but i am not very sure if you want all that 
the new that will come with her now if she gets back with you you get what, what i'm saying here so my suggestion will be to get clarity about what you actually want because right now to me it feels that you just want the old days back and not really the new stuff i may be wrong of course you decide but you see when i do a manifestation of any kind i test what i want to manifest using the following question do i want this at all costs and if the answer is yes then i move forward knowing that i will accept everything that this particular desires comes in my life with in this particular case your case i see two scenarios the first one is you accept the breakup try to move on by improving yourself and try to manifest another person who may suit you better and the second scenario that i see is you maintain your stubbornness and fixation on this person on this one particular person and you try to use the memories that your two bodies okay physical bodies have in order to bring her back and this may fall into the category of what people call black magic because you are trying to put in chains someone else's will what i'm trying to say is that you can win in both scenarios but with different consequences but i would like to start with the second scenario and leave the first scenario at the end so let's start with the second scenario okay you maintain let's say that you want to maintain your stubbornness to get this person back let me explain a little bit how things go if you manage to grasp this, grasp this information fine if not it's fine also but your consciousness is the one thing about you that is aware right now your body is your subconscious your body is composed at the end of the day of memories let's say that if you have this habit of drinking every single day a cup of coffee and then one day you read somewhere that you should drink tea instead of coffee and you try to incorporate that habit okay of drinking tea instead of coffee you'll succeed as an average person for a day or two to drink your tea but in the next few days the body who is acting based on past memories what we'll do will start to give messages in the form of thoughts to your consciousness saying things like mm, i would love a cup of coffee i am so tired without coffee i cannot function without a cup of coffee in the morning and because sometimes you see we have no clue how to overcome those feelings of tiredness we give in and say just one more cup of coffee and now the body wins the inertia or the pet starts to run the master now you see and you lost you lost the opportunity to implement that habit and it's the same thing in relationships the other person okay it's an important memory of your physical body if that person gets out of your life the body will start sending thoughts very powerful thoughts to your consciousness saying i miss her i miss him and then will react with feelings of palpitation anxiety even um, feelings will start to build inside the body and because we don't know how to deal with these feelings 
the quick fix is to search and bring into the present moment the past memories, which in our case may be a cup of coffee or in order to bring that other person back into our present moment, we will start looking for them on Facebook, on Instagram, looking at what they are doing, etc, etc. You get what I'm saying here? So, what I'm saying is not that it's good or wrong, okay? But if you pay close attention, that's how it always plays out, okay? The body will try to bring thoughts in your consciousness, thoughts that the body was used to in the past. That's it. So making somebody come back at you is the same thing that I explained earlier. What a love spell will do, evoking a spirit for love will do, using I don't know what kinds of sigils. What we'll do, it will send a ripple effect, a signal through the energy that surrounds us, the so-called ether that is around us, a signal that will reach their bodies. And because you two had a sexual exchange at one point, memories together, the body or the subconscious will start sending thoughts to their consciousness and because of that memory that is stored inside their physical body, then is a chance of succeeding. Only if the other person is a, is a weak-minded individual. Okay, so that's actually what people call sympathetic magic. You are targeting their memory that is inside the other person's body. Okay? So, why do you have a chance of succeeding? Well, because not everybody is an occultist. There are too many people running around that, yes, can make life easier for us. Because if you don't control your own consciousness, someone else's will. Okay, how to do this stuff? I will not teach you. Okay, <laughs> if you want to do this stuff, go ahead and find it yourself. I think I said enough about how things work in order for you to understand, okay, what will be the effect of your spell or whatever you choose to do if you maintain your stubbornness and go in that direction, but I will not teach it to you. You have to find someone else. Um, what you decide to do, it's your decision, but if you decide to do something, accept full responsibility for it, because it will come with good and bad also. You can go full rogue if you want to, but at the end of the day, it's your own karma that you are playing with. Okay, good. Now let's move back to scenario one because we started backwards. Let's say that you accept the breakup and you try to move on by, by improving yourself and try to manifest another person who may suit you better. So I have two book recommendations for you. The first one is The Angels of Love, Magic Rituals to Heal Hearts, Increase Passion, and Find Your Soulmate by Zana Bla uh, Blaze, I think it's her name. This is the book, a book um, about love magic from the gallery of magic. I use this book myself, it's amazing. I got incredible results with it. The book is composed of two parts. The first part um, contains rituals to heal your relationship, to bring passion and stuff like that. 
uh, basically the first part of the book it's all about improving and healing what you currently have and the second part of the book is composed of rituals to bring into your life your soulmate and the relationship that is um, more suited for you let's put it that way the first three rituals from the book i already used incredible results i got with um, with the book i don't want to go into detail because this is personal stuff but they helped me and at the end of these uh, rituals that you have to do for a certain amount of days i asked in my meditation to to be given i don't know a method or some advice that i can use to keep my relationship happier for a long time and lo and behold uh, shortly after those meditations and rituals um, i found this book which is called the five love languages by gary chapman and you see love at the end of the day it's a chemical reaction right and after some years of being together with the same, same person um, the relationship naturally will start to become less and less fiery but in order to keep it fiery you have to work at it okay so i really recommend this uh, book because it will teach you how to have uh, stronger relationships not only love relationships but also friendships okay so that's my advice for you thank you so much for posting your uh, comment uh, and oscarini i hope that this video was helpful to you if not i'm really sorry uh, with that said i wish you a wonderful week bye bye